Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the analysis of Yoleno TV. I hope you well from whatever you're watching this channel. Now, going by the circular that the National Police has issued through IG Kome, it is possible that we are likely to see a return of tear gas, a return of poli police uh, clobbering, a return of you know police in the streets recently there's a statement that was issued a very long statement uh, not long but a one-paged statement on strike by doctors and clinical officers and if you go to this story it says this is how the press statement goes the national police service takes cognizance on the ongoing doctor strike with utmost concern the service has witnessed and received reports of the inconveniences arising from the strike with medics lying on the streets thus obstructing highways public roads and disrupting disrupting free flow of vehicles and movement of people the medics have become a public nuisance blowing whistles and vuvuzelas during the demonstrations thus causing uh, discomfort to patients in hospitals and general public contrary to the constitutional provisions on the right to picket petition or demonstrate the medics continue to engage in demonstrations without notifying the police yet we have information that none medics with intention to cause havoc and terror to the public intend to join the ongoing processions a move that possess a threat to public safety and security in the recent in the interest of national security therefore all respective police commanders have been instructing to instructed to deal with such situations firmly and decisively in accordance with the law we wish to caution all doctors to refrain from infringing on the rights of others while demonstrating and that their efforts to disrupt smooth operations of hospitals will not be tolerated we wish to assure the public that our country is safe and that the national police service remains committed to maintaining law and order and this document was signed by the ig jafet kome moh mgh ebs you know inspector general national police service and president of afripol general assembly so this this statement going by the date details there the document is dated 14th of april 2024 that means it's the most recent document so ladies and gentlemen that is what we have as the latest news as far as this uh, warning to the doctors of course dr davji atela or dr abiden mwachi have not reacted to this at the time i was doing this analysis but i think they will react to it you know this circular if you look at it very well it is warning the doctors against uh, continuing with the demonstrations so i want us to go further into this analysis but before you do that please take one second like this video uh, subscribe to this those who supported us before thanks so much for your support davji dr davji and uh, and uh, dr mwachi have not reacted but i know they will react to this because when william ruto made a statement they reacted to it so going by this circular you know and uh, the, the document is signed by ig Kome, inspector general of police the inspector general in other words is saying enough is enough regarding the ongoing strike by medics across the country especially those situated in the country's capital you know if you looked at what the governor of uh, kakamega said i mean like three days ago you know they warned the governor warned those medics who are not going to report to duty that they will be fired and any doctor who will not be at their workstation by 8 a.m we shall not have any excuse other than releasing them so what happened the following day the demonstrations uh, were uh, was spearheaded by the secretary general of kmpdu himself dr atela and he was in kakamega and i remember seeing a video where he was telling doctors not to be frightened not to be afraid i know that the threats by ig Kome right now going by the, the the report that has just surfaced if at all this is this uh, 
document is legit and it has been signed by the inspector general himself then we are likely to see a return of you know those police tear gases in the streets the doctors being tear gas we are likely to see those mind you the constitution allows for peaceful demonstrations so far the demonstration has been peaceful we've not seen any looting we have not seen you know any kind of uh, mayhem in the streets but what we've seen is that doctors are you know using vuvuzelas to you know communicate to the public we have seen them go to the ministry of health uh, department the, the office there and and, and you know blow vuvuzelas there because they want audience with the government they want audience with the ministry lately we have seen other ministries uh, and join themselves in this crisis we even saw the minister the cs for labor join this uh, debate we have seen so many other uh, cabinet ministers join the debate because they are trying to make sure that cs nakumicha is not attacked you know that level because cs nakumicha said some of the things there are not supposed to be directed to her you know but again she's the uh, cs for health and so that means those policies, she's the one who's supposed to push them with the relevant ministries. If the ministries are supposed to work together, then that means the proposal by the CBS, he's supposed to push the treasury to implement so that the under so that his her department, you know, function effectively. Right now there are so many complaints on Nakumicha. Why? Because she's not protecting the CBA. That is the major concern. She is not protecting the CBA. In fact, she is fighting that CBA. But if you look at the CBA, it was signed somewhere there between 2016 and of 2017. So if you look at th that duration, that time, that was a time where Jubilee uh, was campaigning. It was actually, there was election that time. So they must have signed during that Jubilee election time, probably trying to make sure that the doctors are all voting for them. So doctors are saying, now we, after we voted for you, now pay us. Now, fulfill your end of the bargain. That is the message that is being conveyed here, ladies and gentlemen. So I was telling you that this circular, the press statement by the national police, you know, through the office of the inspector general, this statement, we are likely to see a return of manda mano. You know, the tear gases, you know, arrests. We are likely to see arrests after arrests. I was telling you, and in fact, you, I know you know that the constitution allows peaceful picketing. So as to whether blowing vuvuzelas is causing disruption, it's just a matter of time. I think there's going to be a court case over that, whether blowing vuvuzelas is causing the disruptions. Of course, Kelele and Nyingi were streets, yes, but how do you get the government to now respond? You must demonstrate peacefully. You must blow those. You must picket. You must do all those. That is the only way you get the government to listen to you. And uh, if you don't strike, just like what Dr. Davji said, you don't go for strikes, the government will never listen to you. If you strike, they now say there's a crisis. So, ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to raise my case there. But what do you think about this latest revelation, the latest statement from the inspector general saying hakuna maandamano kwanzia sahi because in a cause disruption wagonjwa wanapata shida kwa sababu unapiga kelele na wagonjwa hawawezi kupona kwa sababu hiyo so just go below the comment section and offer your reaction so perhaps if you watch this video do not subscribe please take one second and subscribe like this video so until you catch up again stay safe and stay blessed